There is a science behind the closing the gap in New Zealand called the deprivation index. Several factors are measured, including do you have a job, house, car, or education, along with not so evident ones such as how crowded is your home, and do you have internet access, is there anyone relying on a benefit payment. Compute them all together and you get the index. The entire nation is averaged into an overall rate which is 20% for each of five categories from least deprived to most deprived. How does each district compare to the country average? Unsurprisingly, some are more deprived than others. You may be able to predict those areas and we're coming to that too. Let's overlay the gap problem first, which has been measured in many nations. The gap between least deprived and most deprived, or rich and poor, has widened noticeably over past decades. Some nations have a small gap, others a big gap. If we rank nations from small gap countries to big gap, researchers find a corresponding increase in social dysfunction, which we might call the dark side of our society. Put everything on a map and the picture gets closer to home. Our region has least deprived and most deprived suburbs. While richer and poorer may live separately, however, the problem of aggravated robbery hits all areas. Being rich doesn't mean your suburb is immune from social dysfunction. You may say there are other reasons, but please don't tell me poverty is not a factor. Unfortunately, we grow up forming stereotypes about this from an early age. Since rich people don't generally live alongside the poor, both groups hear or imagine things about the other. And as one working with at-risk youth in our region, let me tell you that many of them envy young men who simply have their own room at home. We imagine across the gap of deprivation until it becomes part of our mindset, a gap that is deserved and cannot be altered. And the cycle of the generational gap continues. Which is why we need to remember that less equal societies get more social problems, such as dairies being broken into. Yes, even in our backyard.